where you want to get some notes. This is going to be one that you're going to want to revisit every day. See, we got to move beyond this milk this milk relationship. We got to we got to move beyond the milk relationship with God and with ourselves. We got to move beyond where where I got to depend on somebody to feed me all the time. We got to move beyond that milk relationship. We got to get to that meat relationship with God and with ourselves. I just broke bread. I just broke bread. We got to get to the the meat part of the relationship where I, I where I, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Where I almost I almost went on a, I almost went on a run. I almost left and went on the run. Boy, I caught myself. I got to break this down, precept upon precept. I got to make sure that I can break this down so we can run with it when the motivational teacher to the masses is done today. Yeah. Wake the sleeping giant. That is a sleeping giant on the inside of you. You have to start believing that you deserve the good that you desire. You have to start believing that the good that you desire, you deserve it. You got to understand that dreams and visions, we don't create those. Have you ever driven by a house and you was looking at the house and like, man, one day I would love to have something like that. Or you went through a nonprofit organization like, man, I would love to be able to give $20,000 or $50,000 to that nonprofit organization. Or have you ever seen it? Man, I would love to ride in that car. I would love to have that type of job. I would love to have that type of business. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I like to call them glimpses of greatness. When you have those notions, when you have those thoughts, I don't believe that those thoughts were man-made. I don't believe that those thoughts came from your conscious mind because in my conscious mind, I'm only doing what I know to do in the natural. I believe that's God interrupting your subconscious, saying that there is more on the inside of you. I did a video about two years ago called Glimpses of Greatness. I'm breaking bread right now. Those are glimpses of greatness. That's God playing hide and go seek with you. He's kept trying to get you to come and seek him out. Man, believe that you deserve the good that's on the inside of you. Believe that you deserve the good that you desire. There is more to you than what meets the eye right now. There's more to you than even what your mama them know. There's more to you even than what your wife knows. I'm breaking bread right now. There's more to you than even what you know. Right now we play, I made a video yesterday, the 40% rule, I have it, I'm going to share it out today. The 40% rule is that most of us only give, we go through life only giving about 40%. We never exceed what we feel comfortable with. And one of the reasons why we never exceed our comfort level is because our belief level is not in the place where it needs to be to where I believe that if I give more, I will get more. But somewhere along this life, somebody told us we couldn't have it. Somebody told us we didn't deserve it. Somebody told us that we were too weak, too black, too, too white, too portable, too whatever. And we don't believe we can get it. So by our belief, our works can never outperform it. Ladies and gentlemen, your belief package drives your life. You got to wake that sleeping giant. There's a glimpse of greatness that's down in you dormant right now that God gave to you before the foundation of the earth in order for you to accomplish whatever he put you on earth to do. See, right now you're playing at 40% because you're playing handicap because every day you're going, doing, going to a job. What's up, Tashana? You're going to a job or you're going to a place every day that, that's allowing you to handicap yourself even more. What's up, V4? We're playing at 40%, but there's greatness on the inside of you. Believe it or not, in this life, we get what we believe we deserve. We get what we believe we deserve until we're able to up our level of belief. Until we're able to up... Not, man. Yeah, I got to deal with this. I, I am. What's up, Sandra? Thank you for joining us. I got to deal with this. This is why I am the motivational teacher to the masses. See, most of us do believe, oh my God, I got to go here. Boy, I'm going, y'all. It's Saturday. It's midday motivation. What's up, Winnie? It's midday motivation. I got to go here. Most of, most of us believe that the big God in the sky can do mighty things. I'm going to break bread. We do believe that he's the God of the heavens and the God of the earth. And we believe that God is almighty. And is there anything too hard for God? But do we believe is there anything too hard for God to do through us? God is not sitting in heaven pulling levels. Anything that God does in the earth today, he's doing it through a man. I just broke bread. And God can never outperform our belief system within ourselves. I'm breaking bread right now. It wasn't... It wasn't until I love telling when, when Steve Harvey told his story about when he went, he was working in a factory 
and he drove 45 minutes away, or his girlfriend drove him 45 minutes away. He did one comedy show and won $50, and he cried 45 minutes back home. And he said the reason why he cried all the way back home, because he knew he had been reborn. Now, I, I, it, it's, it's like fire shut up in your soul. It ain't, it ain't the fact that can, can, can God do it? God is omniscient. We know God can do all things. We know God can do all things, but do I have the belief in myself that he's willing to work it out through me? I'm breaking bread right now. See, some of us, we got to increase our level of belief in, in what we have. You will never be able to outperform your own belief system. And sometimes we got to get in a place to where we change what we speak. We change what we understand and we change what we think in order to increase our belief system. You got to wake the giant up on the inside of you. You were never meant to live here with diabetes in your body, with cancer and and, 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 and all these other diseases and all this other stuff that come upon our body. You were never meant to be here and just barely make it. You were never meant to be in those positions. And you were never meant it. And the only reason why we can stay in those positions because we somewhat have adopted the belief that we belong there. I remember when I was 30, before you on here, my whole mindset, before it just popped on here, when I, when I, when I graduated college, my first job, I wanted to go get a navigator. A navigator. Well, that was seventy thousand dollars in debt on a twenty-five thousand dollars salary. Is what I was about to go do. Tell them before I'm breaking bread. I was about to try to go get a navigator on that small salary. But but before I said you can get a navigator, but can you have a navigator? But see, I had grown up in poverty my whole life. I had grown up not having not having a whole lot of anything. I had grown up in poverty, struggling, and somehow as I grew up in poverty, poverty grew up in me, and everything I did in my life attracted me back to poverty. I had a divorce. Yep, I'm breaking bread right now. Had a foreclosure. Yep, I I, I had to leave an apartment. I had a car go back. I, everything that I did in my life attracted me back to poverty because poverty had become my belief system. Man, I'm, this is some good stuff, y'all. This is some good stuff. Poverty was my belief system. Now I'm giving you the story from Anthony Williams' life, but truth be told, and that V4 just chimed in, he know I'm telling the truth. He said, you can get it, but when you have it, because everything was pulling me back to poverty. Now that's my story. And as truth be told, you got a story out there too that's keep pulling you where, 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 where the world, where the world wants you to go. Whether it's that teacher that told you you weren't smart enough to get it done, then you made decisions from that place your whole life, and you bought the you bought that version of the truth that you're not smart enough. You gotta wait the giant. You gotta wait the giant. There's a giant on the inside of you that supersedes everything that you were told you could not do. There's a giant on the inside of you that supersedes everything you thought you could not do.